And now on BBC One, it's time for Play School with Sarah Long and Ben Thomas. A house with a door. Windows. One, two, three, four. Ready to play. What's the day? It's Monday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello. Hello. 995, 996, 997, hello, <laughs> 998, 999, a thousand. Do you know what these are called? They're called hundreds and thousands, because there are hundreds and thousands of them. Look, it's a big jar full. And I'm counting them out because we're having a bit of a celebration. Because Play School has been on television not 1,000, but 5,000 times on 5,000 different days. It's a lot, isn't it? I've got to count out the other 4,000 now. 1,001, 1,002, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're going to be doing a lot of packing up this week because Play School's been here so long, it's moving to a different place next week and we're sorting out what to take. It'll look quite different. But some of the things will be the same. I think these books will just about fit in this box. Some things fit. Keys fit into locks and pencils in a box and feet fit into socks. Oh, some things fit. The letter fits an envelope, a lid fits on a tin, a drawer fits in a cupboard, and we oh, fit our skin. But some things don't. Sailing ships on rails don't. Boots on whales don't. Elephants on scales don't. Some things don't. But some things fit. One inside another. What was that? Oh, he was fishing in the octopus's garden and then he fell in. Oh, I hope you're not too wet. Oh, here's your fishing rod. Let's see what else we can fish up. What do you think Humpty can catch from in here? Ha ha ha. What's this? Brum, 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 brum. It's a motor vehicle and it's got very big wheels. Coming, it's coming. It's a cardboard lorry. That's one thing. Next thing now. You are Humpty. Here we go. What do you think this is going to be? Bing bong 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 bong. It's a musical instrument. Here it comes. Oh, you've caught it, Humpty. You've got it. You've got it. What is it? Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. Bing, 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 bing. It's a cardboard guitar. Another one now. What's this one going to be, do you think? It's an animal. Puppet horse. Last one now. It's another animal. It's got floppy ears. 
and it's got a snuffling nose. Here it comes. Oh, oh, we've lost it. Oh, Humpty. Oh, where is it? Where's it gone? Oh, I better put my hand in. Oh, it's wet in here. Yep, yeah, caught it. And it's a, an animal. Do you know what sort of animal? It's got long ears, snuffling nose. Well, it, it's an old sock made into a, a hand puppet, which was a dog. But you could turn it into another animal by giving it a pointed ear. And it's an animal a bit like a dog. A fox. Once upon a time, there were three little foxes who didn't wear stockings and they didn't wear socks. But they all had handkerchiefs to blow their noses and they kept their handkerchiefs in cardboard boxes. They lived in the forest in three little houses and they didn't wear coats and they didn't wear trousers. They ran through the woods on their bare little tootsies and they played touch last with a family of mouses. They didn't go shopping in the high street shopsies, but caught what they wanted in the woods and copses. They all went fishing and caught three wormses. They went out hunting and caught three whoopses. They went to a fair and they all won prizes, three plum puddingses and three mince pieses. They rode on elephants and swang on swingses and hit three coconuts at coconut shizes. There's lots of things for people to choose to do at a fairground. Could be on the coconut shy, or down the hill to Skelter, or on the roundabout. Or if they're brave enough, they might go on the big wheel. Big wheel when it gets right to the top. It's so high you can see for miles and miles up there. Through the windows today, you can see a big wheel and lots of other things in a big fairground. Have a look at what the people choose to do through through the arched window. Crowded with balloons. Somebody choosing one. Which balloon would you pick? Those balloons are full of special gas that keeps them up in the air. So he's got to hang on tight. Here's a roundabout. Some special animals on the front. Can you see? What sort are they? Well, they're flying jumbos, elephants. And here's a train. Where's it going, do you think? Here, there, and everywhere to see how far it is? in and what comes out that's half the surprise here's a funny toy have a listen to the noise it makes it's supposed to be a hen sounds a bit like somebody laughing getting his change. Now he's having a practice. Somebody tired there. What's this girl doing? She's hooking something. It's hook a duck. A special number on the bottom, you get a prize. And there's a big wheel, two of them in fact. You get twice as many people on. 
to be very brave to go on that wheel. It's spinning very fast indeed. Well, it's getting dark now, but the fair doesn't stop because look, all the lights start flashing and the rides continue. So you've still got a choice for quite a while. Thanks for the ride. OK, come on, toys, up we go again. Round and around. This ball's going round and around. And as it goes round, these hens are pecking at their food, can you see? The faster the ball goes, the more hungry the hens get. Hungry set of hens, these. There's a hungry hen in the story today that Johnny's going to tell. But first, have a look at the clock. See if you know what time it says. Do you know what time the clock says today? Well, the long hand is pointing straight up. So that means it's something o'clock and the shorthand's pointing to the number six. So today the clock says six o'clock. What's underneath? In the story today, in fact, the story is called The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there's a little red hen <laughs> who was walking along and she found some grains of wheat. Now, wheat's a plant, and when it's grown, you can make it into flour and make bread. So the little red hen thought, <laughs> This wheat needs planting. So she went to the duck and said, Will you help me plant this wheat? <laughs> Not I, said the duck. So the little went, red hen went along until she saw the goose. <laughs> Goosey, she said, will you help me plant this wheat? <laughs> Not I, said the goose. So the little red hen went along until she saw the cat. She said, will you help me plant this wheat? No. Oh, yeah, not I, said the cat. So the little red hen went along until she saw the pig. <laughs> Piggy, she said, will you help me plant this wheat? 
<laughs> Not I, said the bee. All right, then, said the little red hen. I'll plant it myself. And she did. And after a while, it started to grow. And after weeks and months, it had grown so tall, it was ready to be cut. Oh, who will help me cut the wheat? said the little red hen. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Cut. Not I, said the pig. All right, then, said the little red hen. I'll cut it myself. And she did. When the wheat was cut, it had to be taken to the miller because he made it into flour. Oh, who will help me take the wheat to the miller? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the duck. Don't I, said the goose. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. All right, then, said the little red hen. I'll take it myself. And she did. And the miller ground the wheat into lovely white flour, ready to be baked into bread. Oh, who will help me bake the bread? said the little red hen. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the goose. No, not I, said the cat. Bake. No, not I, said the pig. All right, then, said the little red hen. I'll bake it myself. And she did. She baked the bread and put it in the oven. And it started to cook. So soon there was a beautiful smell of baking bread. And when it was ready, she opened the oven and looked. Perfectly cooked bread. And she took it out of the oven and said, Oh, who will help me eat the bread? I will, said the duck. I will, said the goose. Oh, lovely great bread. I will, said the cat. Bread. I will, said the pig. Oh, no, you won't, said the little red hen. Oh, I'm going to eat it all myself. And she did. Bit of a different cake here. This cake has got some toy animals inside. I won't show you them yet. See if you can guess what the animals are. Here's a clue. A frog, he would a wooing go. Hey, ho, said Rowley. A frog, he would a wooing go. Whether his mother would let him or no, with a roly poly gammon and spinach, hey ho, said Anthony Rowley. Here's a clue to another one. Something with great big teeth goes snap. Any ideas? Snap, snap, snap. The croaking, crafty crocodile croaked quite croakily. The crafty crocodile croaked quite croakily. The crafty crocodile croaked quite croakily. The croakly, crafty crocodile croaked quite croakily. The crafty, croakly, crafty, croakly crocodile croaked quite croakily. The crafty crocodile croaked quite croakily. Crafty crocodile croak quite quickly. The crafty crocodile croak. <laughs> the crookly crocodile croak. <laughs> Very good. Ah, now, I think there's one for me. Oh, yes, there is. See if you can guess what it is, and I'll give you a clue. Hey, little pop, pop, pop. When, when, when will you lay me an egg for my tea? 
say, little po 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 When, when, when will you try to supply one for me? Get into your nest, get it off your chest Do your level best, I can do the rest Hey, little hen, po 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 When, when, when will you lay me an egg for my tea? Po 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 There we are. They fell back in the nest. Three <laughs> toys now. I wonder which can go the fastest. Well, best way to tell is to have a race, I think, Ooh, really. Yes. Well, what about it? Should we wind yeah. them up. Let's have the cake as the starting line. And um, tell you what, we can use the okay. ribbon as the finishing line, Johnny, if you oh, put okay. it over there. Right. Right. There. Wind up your toys. Hang on. Right. Frogs ready? Who do you think will win? I don't know. Crocodile ready? Hen ready. Hen ready. On your marks. Get, set, go! Oh, oh I've gone the wrong way. Oh, that, you're not supposed to touch. Oh. Oh. Well, the snake's first. Who's going to be Get second? First. Oh, your chicken's not doing too well, Johnny, here. Oh. Will it make it? Oh, the nah, he stopped. Come on, hen. <laughs> <laughs> From <laughs> <laughs> oh, second. Oh, well, I came made. third. Well, what about a piece of cake for the uh, the owners? Oh, I think that's okay. a very good idea. There you are, Johnny. Ben. Thank you very much, sir. Look at all these hundreds and thousands. Oh, Do you think there are five thousand? Oh well, there might be. Should we mm. count them? Well, best had before we eat them. One, one two, two, three, three, three four, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. Hang on, drop one. <laughs> hundred and six. <laughs> no, I've got to start again. Time for us to go one, now. One, Till tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Seven, ten, ten, ten. One, two. I'm eating mine. One, two, three, four. The pianist in place.